Hello, 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 hello to another tutorial. Uh, this time we act, I will show how to disassemble a Carl Zeiss Tessa. Uh, the aperture is 2.8 and a 45 millimeter T uh, star coating. This lens is for um, contacts Jessica mount, so uh, it will be interesting. <clears throat> so let's go ahead. Now, this is a nice old lens with the um, it has some problem with the focus system because it is a bit, eh, yeah, not so so nice and soft. But I will show how to disassemble it full. Uh, we need some tools. Uh, this is a rubber cone, very sticky and in different size. For different lenses. Um, <clears throat> a tweezer, a screwdriver, actually this is a um, Vera, uh, JIS, J -I -S, uh, screwdriver tip, so it fits perfect in the screw head. We need some, this is a lens suction to lift the back lens here out of the place. Uh, we need a flathead screwdriver. Um, and we need another tweezer, a bigger one. And then we just go ahead. So this plate needs to come off and we have to unscrew it counterclockwise with this sticky rubber and then <coughs> remember when taking off this plate which looks like this the, then we actually can see the inside of the part of the focus system uh, which we need to take apart. Before we do that, um, I go to the and take off the back of the lens um, with another sticky if I can. I will use um, this walking stick which I grind to a very sharp tip so it can easily unscrew this <clears throat> and then there's no need for unscrew with a tool then I can use this sticky rubber because and keep holding the lens so because the um, there's a lens element that will um, that will come off it's a bit and then we can Hopefully, take it out. So, then it should be possible. Hmm. Weird. 
as a lot. So, now we are. Take care because this lens is now. This lens keep this uh, this <laughs> this retaining ring keep the lens from falling out. So um, put it so, and then use a lens suction, or you can just use your finger like this. But don't touch this surface. Is if it's clear, don't touch it. I could just show how to use this. Press, put it on gently, and then relax. So that was the back part. So we take the front part, and before we actually do anything. We set the the distance to zero point six meter, and then we make a lot of scratch because I haven't found any service manual for this one particular lens. So I will make a scratch here. It's only because it will make it a lot easier to when assembled it again. So make a scratch here, here, on this, um, on this place, and on this ring, and on the focus ring here. Now, maybe somebody said, no, it's not necessary, but remember, there is no people to ask about how to assemble it again when you already had disassembled it. So, um, then we take the this ring off here, which holds the front lens group in place. It's just um, three screws. And it's easy to take apart. This we can hold here. And uh, and then lift out the ring. And then it should it should be possible to just lift this out. Oh, there we have it. Now, <clears throat> then I can just take off the three screws here, which hold the focus ring in place, and it stops there. It's therefore it's before you disassemble set a mark. You will be very happy when assembled the focus system again. I will put on uh, I will clean the focus system and then put on new grease to make the focus very nice and soft again. And then lift out the ring again here and take off the focus ring. Now, at this time, at this uh, moment, there is no stop, so the focus could actually just 
I can just move it. But before I took it apart, I set a point here where 0 0.6 meter is. It's important. Um, so now we go to the back part and take off the uh, bayonet ring here. It's just three screws. Wrong screw. I just set a mark here because then I'm sure where to put the it ring but it can only sit there that was it now we need to um, take off the aperture ring and there's a small ball steel ball um, so we have to keep that in mind <clears throat> a screw and there is the bone tiny yes very <clears throat> this is the um, the ring that have the connection from the camera to the aperture system in here which uh, is connected to let's see to this here this is the spring that is a kind of return spring for the aperture and this is the aperture ring itself <clears throat> so we need to put this on 2.8 it will make it easier when we put it back again so now we need to another thing um, those two pins that is connected to the focus um, I've just put a a number one if you can see number one here number one there and number two and number two there just to be sure it goes back in the right order so I need to take those out to get into the focus system So then we can just take them out. 
it can be a little um, because if they it has sit there for I don't know how many years so it can be a kind of a little stiff so it's easier to lift it out with a screwdriver and a bigger tweezer so now um, also I have to take out the aperture system and um, here again <laughs> I put a scratch on because before I disassemble this the aperture system I need to um, to put it back in again and correct aperture so I put a mark on here which goes to here and there just to be sure remember no one to ask okay take out the inner helicoid you need to unscrew one full revolution I had my mark here this is against the screw and the um, yeah distance mark here so I need to unscrew one full revolution begin here and turn gently and then I come up to the point here again and then it will go off see okay that's part of it and then I <coughs> of course I've been into this lens before I made this film just to set all the marks but the other ring we need to take off also and it goes five times no five revolution from the mark here which I set difficult to see here and one one three four and at five it will come off there so it is So now you can actually clean this this uh, focus system. I mean, part of it. But uh, I need to disassemble the aperture system also. So there's a little spring here, which I made a tool. It's a dentist tool, which I bend and grind just to to take out small springs and uh, it actually works very good just like a small hook so that's it so we need to set the aperture to I mean close to close the aperture plates and then we have three screws and re again remember to put marks on because when you put it back you will know exactly where the aperture was before 
this little hook or whatever it is it also has to be there because there it will make it easier so put it there when the focus when the aperture is closed and now we can take off the three screws here this one this one and this one there's no need for take this out no no not this so it's pretty long screws as you can see and put two fingers on so you have everything in place so now we need to lift out the the top part we shall do so And then we just lift it out gently, very gently. This is how it looks. So this is the aperture ring that push against the little kind of hook. And all this is just, I will just clean it in lighter fluid. This is the aperture plates. Um, I could take it apart, which I will. Um, <laughs> it's a funny thing, those aperture system. So, remember where the um, this uh, notch here. is where the aperture has to move between so this goes put it here and then we um, yeah I could just when I take out the plates I just move one plate and then lift the other out This is so. And the plates can actually only sit one way. Come on. Uh, 
So, here we are. There's no need to take this small brass plate off. Um, I could take off this. There's no need to put this in in lighter fluid. So I will do so. So one need to lift this out. Then come around. And then just take it out. That's it. Very nice lens. <laughs> okay, we do it again. We take this out. Small screw. And the spring, wow. Yeah, okay, we take it off. But before I do so, and it will make it easier for me to put it back, <coughs> I'll just make a scratch, another one. So, and then unscrew it with a flathead screwdriver. So, Now it's time for cleaning and um, I will just put those into lighter fluid, those two things, which is the focus system and it, no, <laughs> there's a second, third part here, which I also need to take in. And again, a last scratch, because the uh, meter distance um, point, just to be sure. It will make it a lot easier for you when assembling. And the flat head screw has to sit here on top. So I take this out. And the other two with this cross head screws. No. Here we are. And now it's actually time to clean the the uh, the three rings. And just let it stay there 
a while. So that's it. There will be a next part <coughs> um, where I uh, assemble the lens again. Okay, see you.